Hey planner babes, this is Crystal with Sweet Life Plans. Thanks for being here today and clicking on this video. I am going to be working in my catch-all vertical planner today and I'm going to be working over the week of May 30th through June the 5th. We're already getting into June so I'm going to go ahead and pop these pages out real quick. Okay, so now that I have my planner spread out, I'm going to go ahead and pick a sticker book. And I decided on Summer Florals by Kelleva Plan. I just got the sticker book in and I noticed not only are there beautiful summer stickers in here, but I did notice that there is actually one set of very pretty spring florals. So I know um, summer isn't for another couple of weeks, so I wanted to go ahead and use these beautiful stickers right here. They're so, I love like the color palette that she's giving us, and I definitely want to use these beautiful florals. So I wanted to go ahead and start, let me see, probably with this bottom piece. I think I want to use this one. So I'm going to go ahead and pop out this sticker. And I'm going to put it, let me see, I guess I could, oh, you know what? I want to use one of these too. So actually, I think I'm going to use this one and turn it and put it over here down at the bottom at this corner. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to turn it to the side and I'm going to put the sticker as close to the corners as I can. I'm trying to put them as close to the corners, but also where it's not like sticking out at the end either. Okay, so I finally got this baby down. <laughs> okay, I love these pretty colors. Like, they are so spring. And I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this bottom row of this long sticker. And instead of putting it down this way, I think I'm going to put it upside down at the top. Because I have this at the bottom, so I wanted to put something up here at the top. So I'm going to flip it around and add it down here at the bottom or really the top right so let's see okay that looks good went down right okay so we have the bottom left and the top on the right page okay so let's go ahead and start adding some boxes in let's see what do i have I want to go ahead and add, man, those are pretty. Let's do this pretty green side floral. And I'm going to put it up here at the top so I can add some floral on the spread for this week. Ooh. Okay. Ah! It has a gap, you guys. Okay, so with Heather Kell's stickers, you have to put them literally like there's going to be a gap on the top and the bottom of all of the stickers. So, and it's like a sliver short. So, I'm going to try to put this towards the middle of this top box. Let's see. Yeah, no matter what, there's you're going to be able to tell there's a little gap. I'm going to try to put it, I think, closer to the top. Okay. Yeah. You guys, I'm so sad when this happens. There's like a little gap right here. I hate when that happens, but it's all right. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to put that one here, and I think I want to put, like, a blank one on the right side. So I'm going to add this one probably, like, right here. So it'll be different. So I'll have one green box here on the left and one here on the right. 
And I think I want to pull out like that peach color. So, okay, so what I actually want to do first is cover this side. I think I want to add something over here. I want to get a pretty um, bouquet. Kind of big, kind of medium size. Maybe this one. I think I'm going to put it like right here. Okay, that looks cute. Ah, there's a little wrinkle. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm going to put that there and I think I'm going to put like um, one of those peach boxes. Yes, here we go. So I can kind of pull this color out. Maybe I'll put this on top. I'm glad these stickers are pretty strong. And I also don't want it to be like literally the same, you know, height or whatever as this one. So I think I'm going to put it like right here. Yeah, that looks good. So it's kind of overlapping that um that box and it's like you know adding the color in so let's do that box there okay so I went ahead and I used um one of the peach floral boxes that are decorated and I added a blank little green box so I can, you know, make sure to add both of those colors. I also love this other um, peach decorative box. And I think I'm going to put it right here on this side. So I can go ahead and add the peach to the right side as well. And then let's do, ooh, you guys, look. This one is so pretty. I got to use this one. Okay, I'm gonna put it down here at the right. I'm trying not to go crazy like with the floral because there are so many flowers in here, but oh my gosh, like how can I not? <laughs> These are just so beautiful. Okay, so if I have this green, I wanna use probably a peach box to go with it. And okay, I think this is the biggest peach box that I have. And I'm going to add it like right here. Trying to put it towards the middle. And let's add, let's see. Ooh, let's do some of these pretty flowers. Wow, they're so pretty, these little bouquets. Um, oh my gosh, what do I use though? They're so pretty. I'm going to use this one. I think it looks a little bit lighter because it doesn't have like that purple in here, which I have here and here and here. So I'm going to keep it light and use this one. And I'm just going to pop it like maybe right here. And there we go. Fancy. Ooh, that changed that box completely. So let's do that there. Maybe I can add, since this one was lighter, maybe I'll do a darker one. And there are these little smaller stickers that are like at the corner or on the side. Maybe I'll add it over here. See if it fits. I don't want it to be too big. Yeah, let's put it like right here. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, maybe I can add a smaller one. Yeah, 
maybe like right here. And the only thing is there's a lot of this extra space, so I'm gonna have to cut this out. And I'm gonna use my little Posh Toolkit. Just use my little gold fancy craft scissors. Let me see, do I want it this way? Yeah, I think this way will look here. And I'm just gonna cut it to where it's just a little bit um, closer, not so much of the clear sticker popping out so much. Okay, hopefully that's enough. Let's see. Yep, looks like it's enough. Put it right here. So now I have more space to write in like whatever I'm gonna be writing in right there. And I think I wanna add some dots cause you know that's my favorite part. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put some dots in here and they're little so I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in. I don't think I'm gonna cut them or anything. I wanted to add this pink. So I'm going to try to keep it to those, you know, three colors. So I have the pink and then I have like that seafoam green and this beautiful peach color. So I'm going to pop these in. Definitely going to need at least two on this day. Let's do one here. And one down here okay so I'm kind of feeling like this is a little plain up here I think I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these stickers this one's a pretty big one a pretty big like little bouquet but I love like these little florals that are right here it's kind of like the orange peachy color and I'm going to go ahead and maybe put it diagonally like right here coming from ooh, I love this orange this one right here it's kind of like a almost tropical looking flower okay I'm just gonna put it here and I'm gonna use my memory keeper or we are memory keeper cutting board and my little sister knife and I'm just gonna cut it along the line of the planner and let's do this side okay hopefully I did a good job And as long as I don't tear these little edges off. <laughs> okay, ooh, that looks really pretty. Wow, that came out really good. I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there. This is an extra sticker that I can use at another time. And, okay, so in Seasonal Florals Volume Two by Call of a Plan, she has at the very beginning, these are all like the spring stickers. So these are the perfect colors this seafoam green that I love so much. And I think I'm gonna use one of these quotes. Let's use, I love spring. I would love it even more if Texas would actually keep that spring weather. <laughs> it's like been so hot lately. Okay, so this one, I love spring. Let me just add it right here. There we go. I think that looks super cute. Okay, so if you didn't know, Heather Kell, whenever she does her sticker books, she always has like matching stickers. So if you don't have what you need in that sticker book that you're using, look for another book because they're always like the same kind of colors. So I'm going to be using Pastel Basics by Kelva Plan, and I'm really glad that um, she does match the colors so that I can go and look for stuff like this. But I've actually been hoarding this color. I love it so much, um, but I know it's gonna match with this spread. So I think what I'm gonna do is, 
I'm going to see this one's kind of like an orange. It reminds me like a Sunny D, <laughs> that orange juice. Um, I think this one will actually match. So I'm going to use the days of the week for the top. And since, there we go. Since it is on white paper backing, I don't have to white anything out. So I can just pop them in just like this. Makes it so much easier. Yeah, I think the color goes really good. So we have Wednesday. And I'm just going to go over these florals. So um, there is a lot of like white around it, which I mean, it's pretty good. For this, especially when there's like a background, you can just overlap it. And again, since it has the white backing, it um, helps it to pop out and not like blend in where you can't see the words. So that's really good. I love how these look. So Friday, Saturday. Oops, that one's kind of showing some black. There we go, Saturday and Sunday. Okay, yeah, that looks good. And then um, I also wanna put something right here and let's look again because she has like the seafoam green. This one's matching pretty well. This one's more like a lime. Oh, and there's another one. This one's kind of too light. Okay, I like this color. So let's use something to put right here. I'm gonna use this week's focus. Especially because I'm so bad at journaling, I think that may be one of my what I'm gonna put down as my focus. So I'm gonna pop this in right here in the middle. And there we go, and it matches, so that looks good. Okay, so I have this really cute washi. I don't even think I've used it yet, but um, I got it, I know, in one of those like long tubes from Michaels, and it was like during like Valentine's Day, it was like on clearance. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this um, washi and cut it. And then I'm going to go ahead and it's so weird because it has like this backing in the back that you have to kind of peel off. And then I'm just going to kind of tear it. Try to make it like in half. I think I'm going to use a couple of these pieces, maybe one right here. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute. And let me cut it with this just because if I do it with my hands, I know I'm going to tear it up and I'm going to be so mad at myself. <laughs> so I'm just going to use my little Fisker knife. There we go. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I love how that looks. Let's use another piece maybe up here somewhere. I'm gonna probably turn it upside down and have the rigid part at the bottom. Let me put it against the top of this. And I'll just cut it right here on the line. Okay, I have this piece, it's a little bit fatter let me put it like right here. And I'm going to cut it on the inside of this box. I think this washi makes like this spread just looks so fun. It's so pretty. Okay, where else, you guys? Where else? <laughs> 
You know, when you start adding washi, you want to put it like everywhere. <laughs> Ooh, let's put some down here. I'm going to have some right here at the bottom. Okay, I want to put some somewhere over here. Because it's like this thicker washi, I kind of just want to tear it in half. Or keep tearing it in half because... I don't want it to take up too much space. I think I'm gonna add some more. Should I put it down here? Maybe coming out of like this little decorative box. Okay, I think I'm going to add some down here, maybe right after this little leaf. Okay, I think that's super cute. I love these little um, pretty dots. They're in gold, so hopefully you can see them on the screen. but. I think they look so cute and they make it look just so fun and dainty. I love it. So um, I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and hit that bell so you get notifications of plan with me just like this. And I hope you have a great week. Thanks for watching.